Welcome to another live Q&A with me, Leon Bartrop, on a Saturday night, helping you with your carp fishing questions and queries. If you haven't subscribed yet, hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to hit the bell notification, and you'll never miss another video again. Welcome to everyone, if you're watching this live or you're watching it on playback. What normally happens here, if you haven't been here before, is we take about 45 minutes to an hour with our community that we've built up over the months and months of doing these live videos live streams and we answer each other's questions and help each other put people in the right direction and just generally help one another in the community so guys welcome here i see Stu is here dan williams darren thompson darren hall perversi frankie carpers matthew matt huthwaite roy close a regular loads of regulars popping in sean castle the vaping carper big tomos in the man in the house Crispy Carver, Hoxton, Brad Esseteer, Brian Silver, they're just all coming in. Loads and loads of you are coming in. Good to see you. 13 on people ready and we're only a minute in. Shall we see if we can beat Tuesday's live stream total of people in the house at one time? 179 all in one place within that 50 minutes that we've done the live feed. 179. Now that's a proper community, isn't it? So welcome guys. Welcome on a Saturday night taking your time out to join me and all the other guys on this live stream when you could be watching only Strictly, couldn't you? <laughs> so that. I think the carp dog's even. Oh, carp dog's hiding underneath the covers over here. Hi, Steve T. Grooving Cat. Hi, mate. He Now, Grooving Cat, he comes from Washington in the USA, and he's just got his... Black chicken t-shirt without without the stain like I've got because I just had my dinner. So I hope you're enjoying it, mate. Hope you enjoy your black chicken t-shirt. And lumber, higher. Nice to see some some uh, females in here as well. Ray Sherry, good to see you. Lee Power, John Patner, good to see you as mate. Rooster Nelthorpe, good to see you. And one of our regulars as well, Graham the Dodge Green. Colin Osborne, John Gone Fishing as well, Evening, Mike Rose, Paul Stevenson, Dean Woolard, Steve Root, Alan Steed, everybody's here, Jules Anderson, welcome guys, and thank you for giving up your Saturday evening for as little time or as long as time you want to be in here with this great community we've got. Steve Root says, 200 plus club tonight, let's hope so, 179 on Tuesday, live from the bank, and we've got... Two out well, hopefully two hundred tonight. You never know, do you? Brad Asseteer's got kebab, beer, and life Q and A. What more could you want? A big twenty pounder would be nice, wouldn't it? <laughs> Evening, Carl G. Sausage. How are you? Good. Sorry, I, I missed your live feed. I was having a bath and getting me dinner. Evening, Liam Rogers. Brian Mills, good to see you here, that you could make it this week as well, mate. Steve Fox, evening to you as well. <coughs> Matthew Randall, good to see you. Matthew Randall says, Leon, for those who were asking last week about Angling Direct shipping to the States, we're not sure, but we'll ship out to Europe. I thought they would ship to anywhere in the world, but you're the man as you started working now. What's your... um? Have you actually started yet, Matthew, or are you on gardening leave and you start next week? If so, are you enjoying it? Evening, Carpy Chris Dodd. Lee Munzo says, any joy Tuesday? No, I had a blankly blank checkbook and pen, unfortunately. 1970 Phil C says, evening, Leon, none of that TV nonsense in my house. <laughs> Nathan Link says, hi, Leon. He's sat there next to Carl G. Big up to Carl G and Nathan Leak, who are obviously out fishing lucky sods the weekend. Grooving Cat says, I may be the only guy in the United States of America with a black chicken T-shirt. You never know. You could be the only one with one. Goof Blockland says, do you deliver black chicken gear to the Netherlands? Yes, I deliver to everywhere and anywhere. So, 
go and look on my website and you'll see it, it, whatever it is, we, we can deliver. <laughs> Sean Mulqueen's Queen's in the house. Evening, Lee. I'm watching you cooking the dinner. Good for you, Sean. Should be out fishing. And Lumber says, how's it fishing on lakes? Oh, I don't know, guys. Those of you who are out fishing this evening and over the weekend, how's it fishing? I mean, we've got some warm weather at the moment. Quite warm in the evenings and night, which is unusual for this time of year. Normally it's dropped. How you doing? Anyone catching? You seeing fish moving? Evening obsessive carper. Hope you're well. Andrew Cartwright says, me too. Six blanks and a bounce. Have to the best of us, mate. You know, everyone blanks. is fishing. Just the way it is. Brian Mills says, yeah, I popped in to see Carl G earlier. Was it good, Brian? It's always good with Carl G. Cool G is set with Carl and Nathan too. Bloody hell, you've got a little harem going there. A little fan base all in one little place tonight, Carl. What's going on? <laughs> Hope you're charging them tickets to actually watch. George Anson, he's fishing at Baden Hall, Middlepool. Nick Minter says, do you put liver powder, GLM powder on your particles? No, not as a rule. Um, only on my boily stick mixes you know, ground bait, anything like that, but not in my particles. You can do, uh, but I would do it to, if you've not got a lot of um, liquids in those particles, so then I'd put it in so it soaks up to, ev soaks into everything. If you've got too much liquid, like too much hemp juice or water, it's just not really going to do what it's meant to do. Frank Rizzo, evening to you, mate. GWL78 says, plenty of tension, but no carp, though. Mike Rose says, have you seen the new challenge episode yet, Leon? Uh, no, I haven't, Mike. Is it any good? Zachary Pittman says, hi, Leon. Hi, Zachary. Hope you're well, mate. Billy Martin, good to see you. Malk Cliff says, fishing on Sale Water Park had a 20-pound, 4-ounce mirror. Well done, Malk. Good for you, mate. At least someone's catching. Carito Asuna. Now, that is some name, isn't it? Your favourite autumn carp bait, the one that catches the fish. Paul Towns, he says, Hi, Leon, just got back from Island Lake, France, had three fish, a 48, a 60, and a 66-pound common. That must be worth a shout-out. There you go. You just got your shout-out, Paul Townsy, and bloody well done, mate. That's a mahoosive common. Well, all three of them are mahoosive. Graham Sutcliffe says, on the bank tomorrow on a silty lake with cloudy water. Any tips? Silty lakes have always found long hook links. Use long hook links. I'm talking like a foot or more. Long hook links, little light leads, and slow sinking pop-ups or bottom baits. So Alica Gaming says, what's your best rig? Um, again, the one that catches me the fish. I like pop-up rigs. I like bottom baits. I tend to... Use the rig for the bottom or how the lake's fishing. So if it's a weedy lake, I like to start off with pop-ups. If it's got no weed in it, I like to start off with bottom baits. And then I change. I might change over to pop-ups. Everyone's using bottom baits. I use pop-ups and vice versa. Frank Rizzo, I know I keep going on about the bobolet, but have you got any on the go? Not yet, Frank. I'm still looking into it. But believe me, as soon as I get a supplier that can print them and send them out, I will let you know. But thank you for reminding me so I can get on their case. No problem, Graham. Ray Sherry says, Hi, Leon. I've got fish showing all over my spot and not getting a touch. What could be wrong? My rigs are them ready-made rigs, so it can't be that. It could just be, Ray, that the fish aren't having it. They may be on naturals. This time of year is when they tend to have a little feed up on naturals. They'll be feeding on bait all year. The naturals, as the water temperature of the water is starting to gradually go down, although it's only about 13 degrees at the moment, all the natural will come out of the weed and everything else and go into the deep seal ready for winter. Billy Eden says, Hi, Leon. When fishing at Stream Range and Brady's shop leaders being banned, what leader material do you recommend for hitting the clip at 30 wraps? 
I would use something which is very uh, hasn't got a lot of stretch in it. So I tend to use um, fluorocarbon leaders. hasn't got a lot of stretch. Evening May three eight seven. We've got one hundred twenty two people in the house already. Paul Stevenson says, any advice, can't choose between Sam Martin or Bluebell next week. I think Sam Martin, you've got more chance of getting a bite. I believe Bluebell might be a little bit more trickier, but it just depends on what you, if you fancy a bite, go to Sam Martin. Brian Mills says, and it's very good that he's told us about this, Corby Boating Lake has been confirmed as having KHV. Now, I hear also that um, over, uh, oh, bloody hell, where's that place that I fished? The quarry, I think it's the quarry, uh, that they've they've had a couple of fish deaths there. And CFAS are coming down Monday or Tuesday to, have, to take some fish away that have died to see what's wrong with them. But I can't confirm that because I only saw it on a comment on someone's page. So it, I might be wrong. It might be a different lake, but let's hope everything's okay. Billy Oakley is out. Hi, Lil. Me and my son Ryan went fishing last week. He's out fishing with me again. Brilliant. Good for you, Billy. Good times. Times to cherish. Carperfield Edwards. Hi, mate. Watching on the bank. Hopefully get one or two. Right, guys, I've got something for you to show you. I know a lot of you guys have been asking about it for ages, and it's this, the laser pen. This old laser pen. Look at that. I'm like, Luke, Luke Skywalker. Now, this has got a green laser. Now, this is a very powerful laser pen, and it's ideal for getting rid of them black chicken seagulls, anything that... Swims around diving on your baits. Even during the daytime, you can still see this one. Now, it comes with a charger. Charger put in. It's got a battery in there. The battery... Let's have a look, see if I can get it out for you. One of those large, rechargeable batteries. And you can get them... If you contact a guy called Kodak, very old school angler... On Coda Pop's Instagram page or on his Facebook page, <coughs> he'd be able to sort one out for you. They're very expensive, I warn you, but they are the best ones that I've come across. And even during the daytime, that old laser still works. So check them out, guys. He sent me one, I used it, and I'm mighty impressed with it. Here we go, Billy Martin. There's the laser pen. Dennis Williams. Okay, Leon, off doing a bit of piking tomorrow. Good for you. I think... I'm not quite sure how much they are, Ben, because I didn't ask him, but they're going to be about 30 quid, 40 quid, something like that. They're quite expensive. So contact him yourself, and he'll let you know. But they are, they are pretty damn good, I must admit. Best ones I've seen or used. And you, you actually, you can even turn them off as well. Uh, yeah, proper bit of kit. But I, I'll, I'll warn you guys, it is illegal to fire one of these up into the air. So if you happen to fire it onto an aircraft or a police helicopter or something, you're going to get nicked and get about five years. So, you know, whilst they're not legal to buy, they are if you're pushing them up in the air. You get nicked for them. Mark Charles says, hi, mate. Any update on the other T-shirt designs? Yes, you should have um, all of them up there now. You should have all of them up there. Let's have a look. You should have all the different T-shirts. Like these. Keep on keeping on. And If you go to www.leoncarper.com, go to the shop, and you'll see all the mugs, all the hoodies, all the T-shirts. We've got kids' hoodies up there. So check that out. Blind the bloke on the opposite bank. <laughs> yeah, I think you're right. It'll burn a hole in it, yeah. James Green says, Leon, you keep me wanting to go fishing. You're the top dog keeping it real. Keeping it real. That's the one. Cheers, James, for your comments. Really appreciate it. 
Also, guys, because their feed's going really quickly and I'm talking about other things, if I miss your question, just copy and paste it, retype it, and I'll answer it. Well, we've got 134 people in here after 15 minutes, so we're going well, aren't we? Billy Oakley says, my son wants to know if the carp dog is at the winter carp show with you and what day are you there? Billy, unfortunately, he won't be there because it will be carnage if he's there. He will be running around barking and trying to get in everyone's bed chair. He'll be testing all the sleeping bags out for all the companies, bless him, snoring like a good one in there. And then as soon as someone walks around, he'll be barking them. So unfortunately, he won't be there. I will be there both days on the Summit Tackle Stand. So come and see me. I'll be there on a Saturday and a Sunday. Come and see me. Come and say hello. Come and have a chat. Talk all things carpy. And uh, it'd be good to see anyone, all of you there, or whoever's coming, come and say hello. Brian Mills, Darren, Darren Leo's just done a five top, yep, five top tips for pop-ups. Sean Castle says, see, Adam Penning has just caught the coconut common at £52. Amazing fish. It certainly is, and well done to Adam Penning for catching it. That's an awesome common. Stuart Nichols says he's sadly camping, not carping. You mean you should be carping, not camping. You can get them mugs as well, look. Carping, not camping. I do a lot of camping. Not that type of camping, though. No. Right, Ben Wallace says, what bait to use on Sam Martin for winter? Uh, I would use a digestible bait. I always, in the winter time, as soon as it gets below 10 degrees, I come off the fish mills and I go on uh, more like, bird foodies or ones with no fish meal in. You can use corn, you can use hemp particles, all that type of stuff. Little fluoro pop-ups, highly glugged up with loads of flavour in them. Works really well. David Etox says, great to catch another live Saturday night. It's good to have you here, David. Darren Sartin, if you contact me, if you email me at leon at leoncarper.com, I will put you in contact with him. Colin Osborne says, Leon, are you doing the big one next year? Yes, I will be there for all the days, Colin. Come and see me. Sean M says, can you recommend a lightweight bed chair? I use the Witchwood Compact. I use it all spring, all summer, all autumn. Really mega light. It's good for if you're moving about like I do a lot. If you watch my vlogs, I'm always moving about. I end up in another swim every day, don't I? Matt Huthwaite says, how do you use them foam nuggets? I tell you, Matt, what I do is, if you get uh, if you get your hook and your hook bait, and you get a foam nugget, just say that's the foam nugget. You lick the foam nugget and you wrap it around the hook so the ends of the foam nugget are touching the boilie so it's not going to move. Then cast that out. That's how I use them. The Welsh carp, the Welsh carp catchers, evening, mate. I'm good. Hope you're well. They are cranky carpenter says get on the zigs on Sam Martin. Another very good tactic which is overlooked on all walls is the zigs. Derek McCall, evening mate, stand two, then that no, yep. Yeah. Steve Homan says had two days stalking this week on a small special lake. Great change from static rogs. Static rods got me back to hunter mode. Yeah, it's always it's always good to either have a break from what you're doing fishing or to try a different type of fishing or go to a different lake. Oh, I always found if I get stuck in a rut and I'm not feeling like I'm fishing properly, then I always go and do a, like a little day session somewhere or go to a day ticket lake or you know fish totally different just to get the blood rushing again. The Vaping Carpet says, are you doing the Northern Angling Show in February? And yes, I will be at the Northern Angling Show as well. Uh, 
Darren Thompson says, I'm fishing a shallow lake and can't feel a drop. Any advice? Oh, that's a difficult one. It must be mega shallow then, Darren. I would try using a really light lead, like a one ounce lead, and try and practice feeling it in shallow water. That's what I do. Sometimes it's, if you're fishing distance, it's just really difficult to find that drop. Del the Angler says, Evening, Leon. Just got back from holiday. His black chicken hoodie has arrived. Love it. Glad you're liking it, Del. Glad that you like it. And everyone else who's bought those bits of pieces. It keeps this channel going. All those couple of extra little quid I nicked from here, there, and selling T-shirts and mugs and all that. It keeps this channel going. It gets me to get products to review. And it just helps with the cameras and everything like that. So, you know, it's all good for the community. And I appreciate it very much. Thanks, guys. Carl G, with his sense of humour, says, How do you cook black chickens? I'll leave that for someone else. Spit roast, Carl G, Brian Mills says. Well, there is two other people there with him, Brian, so I think spit roast is on the cars for them boys, isn't it, tonight? They don't know what Carl G's really like. <laughs> Matthew Randall says, Leon, he started last Thursday. Love his job at Angling Direct. Great to see what people buy and talk tactics to eat, sleep, play fishing. Good for you, Matty. Dave Fisher says, hi, buddy. Really good question here, guys. So listen up. If the air pressure is 1010 or 1120, 1120, that'd be a bit, bit higher, 1020, what does it mean on the fish I put down? Thanks. Right. The higher the number, so 1020, that means there's a lot more pressure on the water. And the deeper the water, the pressure gets more intense as you go down. So the fish, because they've got bladders to keep them afloat, they put air in their bladder, that will be compressed. So they're more likely, I've found, not always the way, but they spend more of their time higher up in the water. Anything lower around the 10, 10,000, below 1,000, they've got more... It, they feel more comfortable going to the bottom of the lake for longer periods of time. Hope that helps. Fat Mick says, Evening, fella, on a lake that has a leader band and can't fish naked. You know of a tube that won't break with a heli setup. Uh, oh, blimey, now you're asking. I, if, you can't, if you've got a leader band and you can't fish a naked, then I don't think using a tube is going to help with a heli set up because you've got beads and everything else rolling up and down it the only thing you could do is to fish it with a bit of tubing tungsten and tubing and get a bit of that foam lick it and wrap it round an inch above where your swivel is so cast it out leave it and then what will happen is is that that foam will melt and then the rig will be able to run freely so it won't get snagged and it won't stop coming off. Hope that makes sense. Brian Mills sounds like they're in for a good time, definitely. <laughs> Andrew Cartwright says, one bait tip for late autumn, use less of it and use something which is digestible. Thomas Henry Myers says, are you going to do black chicken joggers? Hopefully I, I shall be, but I'm trying to find somewhere I can get them from that will print them up and be able to send them out. So I'm trying to find, I'm trying to find, I'm trying to find loads of things from. Aaron Paul says, "Do you scale down your hook size if using a 12 millimeter pop up?" I don't, because I use proper buoyant 12 mil pop ups. The SSP baits, washed out white and washed out pink ones. I help design, especially for the winter. They are mega buoyant. So you get three different sizes in, I think, 15s, 12s, and 10s, or 14s, 12, and 10s, something like that. But I still use a size 5 hook with a 12 mil pop-up. You've got to have a mega buoyant. <coughs> Dominic Carter says, Hi, Leon, first time. Good to see you here, Dominic, making the dive in. Frank Rizzo says, Leon, where did you get the idea to start this community? Well, Frank, on when I did a, um, a live, I tested out a live ages ago, and I was speaking to, I think we only had about 20 people in here. 
and we were saying, well, sh should we have like a Facebook group community? Should we do lots of vlogs? Should we do... And it's just grown and grown and grown and grown. I mean, it was literally a handful of people, first of all. And then where we start... And now we actually do it twice a week. A Tuesday night at 7, Saturday night at 7, live every week. One of them's usually from the bank, and the other one's from the old man cave. So, yeah, it's just grown and grown. If you're not in our Facebook group, then get yourself over, do a search on Facebook for it only takes one bite, get yourself in there, and it's a group just like this where we help each other and answer questions and give ideas on products and we can get them cheaper and everything else. So, Roy Daniels says, Leon, best toppers to use on top of a life system over the winter. Roy, try a little bit of plastic corn, which has been soaking in tallin. Cut down half uh, a sort of white, uh, a fluoro white, I washed out pink pop-up. I'd have three different, three different ones on different, I mean, different rods. Lee Munzler says, Rick Merrill braided tubing is pretty good. Colin Osborne says, Leon, are the baseball caps making an appearance? I am looking into them. Please believe me. I'll make a note of it now to chase them. Baseball caps. So then after this, I'll chase them up with an email. Good to see you, Cami. Camo, Carpy, could see. Sorry I missed your live feed tonight. Dominic Carter says, are more hens classed as black chickens or is it just the coots as per your top? I think the uh, the more hens are classed as black chickens as well. No problem, Aaron Paul. Here we go. Matty Russia says, use PVA stocking. Like a thick tape to stop the swivel on a heli rig on the tubing. Anything that's going to come away, anything PVA or stocking, anything that's going to melt away, that's not going to stay fixed, will work great. Dave Willer says, when are you out again, Leon? Dean, I'm out tomorrow night for a couple of nights, hopefully. Toby Wheeler says, what's your PB, Leon? Um, it is 56.3. No problem, Frank. Dennis Williams, good to see you, mate. You go and have a good time. The Vaping Carpet says, where is little Frank, my boy? How's he doing with his fishing? He is at his mother's tonight. Paul Stevens says, black chicken bivy pegs. Awesome. <laughs> Darren Thompson says, Leon, my little girl says hello. Can you give Macy Thompson a shout out, pure? A shout out. There you go, Macy Thompson. Shout out to you, my little darling. Thanks for watching with your dad. Cranky Carper says, is Carl G's next blog called The Man Sandwich? I think it could well be, Cranky. Ben Wallace says, can you tell Paul Stevenson he's the best father-in-law? There you go, you just did it yourself. Broke back Carper, I'm liking that, GW. I'm liking that. So, who is out tonight on the bank? How many of you guys are actually out there doing it tonight, watching us in the community on your phone or your iPad when it's pitch black and you're out there angling? Ray Innes says, hi, Leon. Great Q&A, first time. Good to see you here, Ray. Thanks for turning up and being part of it. There you go, camera cartsies. Just adding a little something. Darren Lindsay says, Evening, Leon. Would the SSP System X work in the winter all right? Yes, because I've revamped it for him. So now it is an all-season System X. All-season. And it's got lots of liver in there, which carp absolutely love and need in the wintertime to keep them going. Lots of minerals and aminos in that. That carp, how's it going, Leon? Yep, good to see you. <laughs> Stuart Cox says, Hoy, hoy, toxic spoon man. If you didn't know, I've got the spoon of death. I mean, I might even have that on a t shirt, actually, spoon of death. Hope you're all good. I'm good. Thank you very much, Stuart. He's fishing a lake with a dirty, choddy bottom. Even if you use pop ups, they come in stinking of the seal. What tip would you have to cure that? 
nut band. Stuart, I've come across that quite a few times in different lakes, and it's where the silt and the algae and everything else has died and stayed on the bottom. And it's really disgusting smell. Uh, you have to find those spots, which is really difficult, which is not going to stink. And the only way to do that is to fish on them, smell your lead and your bait in the morning. And if it's all right, make a note of how many wraps it is or the spot and fish that one. George Hansen, he's out tonight. Ray Mulkerson is down monks. He's fishing slow. Ben Willis or Wills, had a double take, about 3 is 24 pound, 2 ounce common, and a 31 pound on the nose common, well done Ben, shout out to you, good angling, Joel Duck, good to see you mate, there you go, Alan Mark 2R32, says Silk Busters by T DT Bates, there are, little recommendation there, Max Stobart says, warm night on the bank, fish haven't been seen, been on it, but still showing themselves so frustrating. I think what's happening a lot around the country at the moment, from what I'm hearing from you guys and guys that I know are fishing, I think they're on the naturals, I really do, before it starts getting cold. That carp says, sick of blanking, tried everything. Yeah, I'm sick of blanking as well. The vaping carp says, Leon, will you have any clothing with you at any of the shows? No, I won't, unfortunately. I'd be there working on behalf of Summit Tackle at the shows. Cole Dodsworth, good to see you, mate. No problem, Ben Wallace. Good for you, mate. Grooving Cat says, 20 black chickens, 2,000 Canadian geese. Oh, my God, it's loud. God, I feel your pain, Grooving Cat. I feel your pain. Cole Dodsworth, surf, when am I next out? I am next out next uh, tomorrow night, hopefully. No worry, Darren. A pleasure, mate. And, guy, I just want to say it's a pleasure having you all here. It's a pleasure you guys tuning in, watching my vlogs, watching my videos. You know, I love it. It's brilliant. It's only down to you that the channel's growing so much. You know, I really appreciate you and our little community. Like I say, if you haven't been to our closed Facebook group, it only takes one bite. Get yourself in there. It's just like this. It's just like this community. Most of the guys you're seeing asking and answering the questions are in the closed Facebook group as well. And of course, if you haven't got one of these black chickens or black chicken hoodies, get yourself over to my website, www.leoncarper.com. Check them out because it is uh, sexy, the black chicken hoodie in charcoal for the winter. <laughs> no problem, Stuart. Matty Rushton says, fish zigs on a stinky bottom, even six inches off the lead. I agree, Matty. That's another good tactic. John's gone fishing. Leon, I just ordered a black chicken hoodie. Good for you, John. Mine's in the wash, so otherwise I'd have it on tonight. Um, I think out of all them colours, that charcoal grey black with the black chicken logo on is the best one. And it's nice and soft. Uh, you can actually go to sleep in it. I, I don't like hoodies which are too stiff, if that makes sense. And this one's a nice soft material. Roy Daniels says, what am I vaping? I am vaping... Menthol, six milligrams. Brian Mill says he doesn't do the shows anymore because it costs so much money. I think it's about a ten or twelve quid to get in. I wouldn't pay to get into one, Brian. I only go there to work. Andrew Cartwright says I've only seen carp in the margins last few sessions in the pads and reeds, clearly on the naturals. Tied on a tenner and still couldn't catch one. <laughs> I think they're on the naturals at the moment, guys. Singles in that silt or wherever they are is the way to go. Will Annal says, all right, Leon Boss, what's your best fox mainline to use? Why does it have to be fox, Will? Uh, although saying that, the best mainline I think they do is probably the cheapest one, the Warrior line. Jake Douglas says, what do you think about the Jag lockdown rod grips? Uh, I think they do their job, Jake. I do. I think they do their job. The obsessive carper has added that, because I, where I've said all about the naturals and that, he thinks there's a lot of fly hatches going on at the moment. You could well be right. Joel Duck says, when on what shows are you doing? I shall be at the Carp Society show, end of, no is it end of November. 
I'll be at the big one. I'll be at the Brentwood show. I'll be at the Mont Lucon show. I'll be at Zwolle. I'll be at the Northern Angling show. Guys, if you're about, pop in and see me. I'll be on the Summit Tackle Stand. Pop in and say hello. Be really good to meet some of you guys. Darren Bigmore says, just found your vlogs this week. Keep them, keep them coming. Pleasure, Darren. Glad you found them and glad you're liking them. Joel Duck says, will you be selling gear at any of the carp shows? I'm not my own gear, Joel. Unfortunately, I'll be there on behalf of Summit Tackle. Carl Dodson says, where is your PB from? Uh, I actually caught my PB Common, which is in one, I think it's the first summer vlog. First summer vlog. Vlog 1 uh, this year from Wellington Country Park. Brian Mills, this is so true, isn't it? Said it's not the entry fee to the shows. He doesn't mind that. It's all the crap that he doesn't need that he still ends up buying. Isn't that the way? How many times have you gone to the tackle shop and wanted a packet of hooks and you walked out with 40 quid's worth of stuff? Every time. Every bloody time, isn't it? I do it myself. Going out, oh, I only want a packet of beads, four quid. End up, I've got an umbrella, I've got crazy. Don't tell Mrs. B, though. Jamie UK 92 says, just got back from a grueling 72 hour session, didn't see a single fish. Sometimes, Jamie, it's just like that. Sometimes they just turn off. John Gone Fishy says, ever fished a Lovelace farm fisher in Kent, Leon? If so, any tips? Unfortunately, John, I haven't, but there may well be someone on here who has. Carl Dodsworth is on the Limburg to Wessum Canal in Holland. Good for you, Carl. Hope you bag a big one out of there. Darren Bigmore says, did you used to fish Church Lake in Children's Ditch? Yes, I did, Darren. Absolutely lovely lake run by a friend of mine, Paul Meatham. Great bunch of guys on there. Great stock of fish. Just well run. Lovely lake. Carl Dodsworth has just had a knock on the middle rod. He's going to catch one. Live. Stuart Cox says, another question. All questions are valid, Stuart. He changed line over to Witchwood DPF, and I think my catch rate went up. Do you think there is much in these coloured lines or a gimmick? Now, Stuart... The best line, the coloured line for disappearing in water is a red coloured line. Now, and I think the Witchwood one is a mauvey red, isn't it? Uh, we just, as anglers, we don't like the look of it on our reels. Or we think, oh, that's not, you know. But the coloured lines disappear in water more. It's a fact. It's light reflection. So it does work, but I wouldn't use one personally because I don't like the look of it. Aaron Paul, we are kids in the sweet shop, exactly. Yep, Sean Castle. Today he spent 52 quid in the tackle shop. Looking at what, where, where all the money went. Looking at what he's got, wondering where all the money's gone. I agree. You buy two or three things, you go, it's 50 quid, and you go, oh my God. Matthew Randall, Mrs. B, secretly watching Neil, so your secret's out. No, Matthew, Matty, she's at work at the moment. If any of you guys ever get a taxi in the Maidstone area, then you probably talk to my missus. She works at the taxi firm. Big shout out to the taxi firm. Ex Express Cars, I think it's called. That's it. It's purple, Cranky Carpers, isn't it? It's purple. GWL78 says, Matt Hayes used to use a red line. Oh, right, okay. Dave Fisher says, black chicken boxes so the wife doesn't get left out. I'll have a look for you. I'm pretty sure they, where I can get some from, but I wouldn't have thought that people want them, do you? What, do you want black chicken boxes? Big black chicken across it. Looks a bit wrong, doesn't it? How about the head where the, where the gap is? How about that, eh? Hey? And a couple of claws down where the legs are. All wrong, isn't it? Paul Butworth says, Paul Stevenson says, can you make the vlogs longer? Blimey, Paul. 
They were about 25 minutes long already every week. Paul Butterworth says, so how do that find red maggots? Uh, I like red maggots. Red and white mixed in the winter, if, if I ever use them. Darren Bigmore says, are you going to do more photographer vlogs? Yes, I am. You will have one next Friday. I'll be filming that this week, and that's going to be about the intervalometer. So watch out for that one. And how to use it with your DSLR. Danny Glee says he bought Dave Lane's new book today from the man himself at the Tackle Box. Good for you, Danny. Let us know what you think of the book once you've read it. Fat Mix says decent bulk lead supply at a reasonable price. Um, there's lots of really good ones on, on the uh, Facebook. There's lots of ones there that will charge you about between 50 and probably about 70 pence a lead. Yeah, the laser pen need to be attached to a shotgun. Yeah, I'll make you right. I think I think that's what they use them for. They put them on the shotgun. It's what the old special forces use. This one, I tell you. Dominic Carter says, Cole G is wearing black chicken boxes at the moment, hence the spit roast. I love it. Max Stobert says, his mate nearly set his bivy on fire. Oh, dear. Joel Duck says, a best helicopter setup with lead core. Right, this is how I do my lead core helicopter setup. I have me about a foot or so of lead core. I have that on a clip at the end with a little sleeve, a garden sleeve. Uh, and the clip is I put my lead on so I can change my lead size. So if I only want to fish short, I'm going to change it to one ounce lead. If I want to fish long, I put a three ounce lead on. And that sleeve goes over the top. I cut the swivel off, and that goes over the top. Now, then what you've got, where you've spliced the lead core, you'll have a bit of a bump. And that's normally about an inch to an inch and a half up. I'll put a bit of silicon tubing on there so it fits tightly over the top. And then I slide down. Um, they might be ESP uh, little beads where they've got a big bore at one end and a short bore at the other. I slide that down and then I just push it up onto that silicon. So if I get a fish snagged or anything, it just pings. The bead pings off the silicon, and that's the safest way to fish them. Don Smith says, Leon, what's the longest blanking session you ever had? 45, 46 nights in the winter. 46 nights over the winter from late autumn to March. Blankety blank checkbook and pen. 46 nights. Wounded. Wounded. Seven Valley Leads are good. There you go. Dozers Leads on Facebook. Sean Saunders. Hi. Good to see you there. The Obsessive Carpet says, have you seen the Call to Bait Floss Stoppers? Another unnecessary gimmick product. I haven't seen them, but I'll take your word for it. Frank Rizzo says, Leon, have you used the ARC lead system? Uh, I haven't, Frank. Um, I think a few guys on here may have. I don't know what to make of it myself. Stuart Cox says, who is your personal favourite carp angler on the circuit? Oh, blimey. Um, ooh, there's loads of good ones out there. That's the one. Dominic Carter says, definitely the ESP beads. I use them in five and eight mil. That's the ones. They've got a large bore in one end and a fine bore in the other, and you slip them onto your silicone, uh, and that will not come off with a cast, but will come off if a fish picks it up and snags the lead somewhere. Matty Rush says, the best heli is to call the heli safe on lead core when you can drop the lead. I believe it's very good. I've seen it, but not used it. Darren Bigmore says, he's just starting to fish Burner's Fishery at Burner's Roading. Have you fished it? Is that Burner's, Burner's Hall, Darren, which is run by Total Fishing? I will be coming up there to do a session in the winter. Because I know the guys at Total Fishing quite well, so... I'll be coming up there and booking myself in for 48 hours over the weekend or during the week to get me to go over the winter time. Mazza Mazza says, having a lot of frap ups using braid for spotting, thinking of changing to light mono and a shock cleaner. What you recommend, Leon? Mazza, go and have a look at my five tips for spotting video and you will see 
a little trick I use with its nylon, with its braid for spotting, and I use braid for my spotting, is every three or four casts, put some water on your spool and it stops them frap ups. But go and have a look at the video. Lots of good tips in there about how to get the best out of your spotting. Michael Morby, yes, I'm at the Northern Angling Show in February. Roy Daniel says, you need to get a, we all know a noddy t-shirt going. Maybe Daniel, maybe Roy. Keep it simple, Danny Glee, yep. I got out of that well, Stuart Cox. <laughs> keep on keeping on, yep, that's the ones, Ross Wax. Keep on keeping on. 133 people in here, we'll be going for 45 minutes. Darren Thompson says, what barrow do I use? I use the Fox Low Rider. And you can't buy it anymore, but I've got a little bit of the up with it because I've got about through about six of the of the Fox barrel wheels. I have to keep ringing up and ordering one. Not too pleased. So I've ordered a from Amazon, one of the ones which is unpunchable. James Green says a very good a very good um, question. Do you think we should stop dropping leads unnecessary, James? I don't know. If you're dropping lots of leads all the time, it could be a problem. Like hundreds every week. It could be a problem with lead in the water. But I don't know. I, I, I want to see some research first. Stuart Cox says, Have you ever fished any chunks from angling associated waters? Yes, I used to fish Boromir many, many, many years ago. I haven't fished Cromwell Lakes, Paul Stevenson. Kieran Morton says, Evening, Leon. Just back from a blank curry time. Good for you, Kieran. Sean Mulqueen says, what loss of a fish still haunted you? My one is Nelson from the Essex Arena. Um, oh, blimey. I've, I'm, I don't like to think about my losses because I've lost some really good fish over the years. Not many, just one or two at the net. Um, oh, probably the Northern Linear from Manor many years ago when I really wanted it. Yeah, the obsessive carp says, got to keep your braid wet. I agree. That's how you'll stop frap ups on your marker flow, on your marker rod with braid, or your spotting rod with braid. Dennis Williams back. He's just done his taxi thing for his son. Well, guys, don't forget I'll be going live on Tuesday night from the bank again at 7 o'clock. We've got 179 people in there last Tuesday. Amazing, you guys, eh? Amazing. Sean Saunders, I'm going to give Jake Saunders a big shout out. Young lad, young, young angler in the making. Sean Saunders' his son. Jake, shout out to you, mate. Take care, Darren Thompson. You get your kids to bed. Enjoy your Saturday and your weekend, mate. Dean Willow says, what's your favourite time of year? My favourite time of year is probably the winter. I love the winter. There's not as many people out there doing it. Although last winter was pretty busy on Sanders. Uh, the fish are at their biggest. They look immaculate. And it's that much more of a challenge to catch one. Joel the Fish 45. In. Evening Leon. Great vlogs mate. Thank you very much Joel. Appreciate the great feedback. Stuart Cox says. Would you ever think about doing a full lake high with some of your subscribers as a, as a social? Yes I'm looking into it. I shall be looking into it more over the winter for next sort of June, July time. I've got to speak to a couple of people and I was thinking more along the lines of uh, hiring out a lake which could take about 20, 25 people. Uh, have a bit of a social, but it'd be me and it'd be two other sort of well-known-ish anglers who know what they're doing, helping people. And probably going to be something like a couple of hundred quid for the whole weekend from Friday to Sunday. Bit of food chucked in there as well, barbecue or whatever. And what, all three of us would be going around helping people with their questions, with their rigs, with their queries, and, you know, just making it a good event, really. Night, Sean. Have a good one. Good to see you, mate. Matthew Goodwin says he's missed the start tonight. He's watching films with the kids. They're in bed now, so we'll watch him full later. Cheers, Matthew. Lee Brown, good to see you. Carl G's popping in and out at the moment. I don't want to know your sex life, Carl. 
Danny Swim's piking tomorrow. Good for you. Paul Stevenson, good to see you, mate. <laughs> Philip Grimshaw says, if you can read it, guys, but I can't read it out. When are the uh, Something Strictly t-shirts coming out? Looking forward to Monday's blog. <laughs> That'd be a good one, wouldn't it? F Strictly. Yeah. Hi, Lee. Thanks, Leon. I hate having my rest days at the weekend. The lakes are too busy sitting in a watch. Sitting in, watching the live stream is staying out Monday. Good for you, Lee. Stuart Cox, he's in. For that idea I said about, about 20 people, three of us guys, you know, for a social for the, for the weekend, June, July time. Probably not in the school holidays, probably before or after. James Green says, do you think there'd be an alternative to lead? I believe there is an alternative to lead. Um, and I'll tell you what else is the alternative at the moment a lot of people are using for lead weight is concrete, believe it or not. There's a company out there, I can't remember the name of it, a European company that's got these leads which are made out of concrete. Paul Butterworth says, Leon, when are you going to do going to be doing a cart book? You need to get all this info on paper. Paul, I'd love to do one. I just haven't got the time. I'd love to do a, a not a here's my big fish I call. I'd love to do one, you know, like Ali Hamidi did for want of a better title, we've done like Mastercraft or something. I'd like to just do a, you know, um, I don't know what the title would be, but all different things about rigs and watercraft and all that type of stuff. Roy Daniels, shout out to the NICAS members. There you go. There's your shout out. No problem, Sean. It's good to be good in this world. Karma, isn't it, mate? Eh? Karma. Will Annell says, have you ever fished in the Northwest, Leon? I've walked round Rice Side Fishery, but I've never fished it. Stu Unzi says, now it's getting colder. Do you start to use smaller hook and hook baits power? Um, not really, Stu. I still use, I will start to use more pop-ups and maybe a smaller pop-up, like a 12 mil instead of a 15 mil. But I don't really change the size of me hooks and all that. Uh, maybe I should do. Maybe I'll catch more in the winter or start catching a few in the winter. But I don't as a rule. Well, guys, we've got about another five minutes left. We're on 52 minutes now. We're going to run it up to an hour. So if you've got any questions or, you know, you want to help with anything, any answers to anything, now's the time to get it in before we go in about seven minutes' time. Dean Power says, Decisions, do I fish a syndicate next year or fish a low-stocked water full of myths and unknowns? Depends on what you want, isn't it, Dean? You, you know... The myths and unknowns, that'd be the one for me, I think. But possibly you won't see many people either. Probably be a bit of real fishing. John Gold Fishing said, what's a good day ticket water in Kent? Um, oh, bloody hell. Uh, Elfix, I've heard of that one. Monks, you've got, there's quite a few, I think. Paddock Wood, this one up there. There's a few different day tickets in Kent. I haven't actually fished a day ticket lake in Kent. I fished a syndicate lake, but not a day ticket. Roy Close says, do you think that throwing bait in the lakes all year round affects the oxygen levels? Pellets maybe, but baits and things like that, either the black chickens eat them, the roach, the natural eat them, they break down, so probably not Roy, unless they're in massive quantities. Robert Maness says, hemp oil in winter? Most definitely, Robert. Most definitely. It's my most favourite oil. Will Annell says, never caught in a pop-up, Leon, any advice? Go and have a look at my video about multi-rigs. Go and have a look at my video, video about multi-rigs on my YouTube channel, Will. Dennis Williams says, see you at the Northern show, and I'm going. Good, I will see you there, Dennis. Frank Rizzo, where's Kevin Maddox lately? I'm not really too sure, Frank. I've never met the guy. Stuart Cox, thanks for your advice and answers, Leo. I've got to go. Nice one, fella. Thanks for turning up and thanks for asking questions, Stuart. Appreciate it. Paul Harris says, what pop-ups do you find best in winter? I like either 
white or washed out pinks. But I'm going to try some yellows this year. Sorry, not Shirley, Dennis, yeah. Dean Willis says, where am I fishing over the winter? I'm gonna I'm gonna may have a couple of trips to Farlows. And I'm definitely gonna be having quite a few trips to Sandhurst, and I'm gonna fish the Park Lake as well. Matthew Reynolds says, Leon tight lines for when you're out and guys, angling direct slough is due to open end of October. Guys, pop in to say hi. I'll pop in and see you as well, Matty, at some point. Yeah, I think you're probably right, Fat Mix. Kevin is sort of, well, he's been doing it for so long. Dominic Carter, see you later, mate. Have a good session on Monday. Let us know Tuesday in the live feed at 7 o'clock. How you got on? No problem, Will. Can I, can't I keep going to Strictly Finishes? <laughs> Harrison Tucker says, when spumming with brain and fishing with mono, do you use the same amount of wraps? Exactly the same amount of wraps, Harrison. No problem, Paul. Brian Mills, shh, don't tell everybody. Watch that, yeah, those are good. The reason being, Brian, is because no one else is using them. Matt Cleverton says, hi, Leon, tip for very weedy waters. Try and find them hard spots in amongst the weed. That's where to put a pop-up pop up rig. Dennis Williams says, Leon has a tempest notice. You, yep, yeah, I love it, Dennis. So far, so good. No problem, John Liffey. Absolutely uh, a pleasure to have you, mate. And hope you've got your hoodie or T-shirt, whatever you ordered. No problem, Matthew. Dean will need to try some legs down that way. Right, guys, I'm going to wrap it up. If you haven't subscribed, don't forget to subscribe, guys. I know most of you have already. Check out the hoodies and the T-shirts at www.leoncarper.com and the mugs. And all the other stuff. I'll be adding more stuff to that. Don't forget to check out the close Facebook group. I think we've got about 1,500 people in there at the moment. That is, do a search for it. Only takes one bite. And I appreciate every single one of you coming on here, whether you're watching it on playback or you're live with me in the stream answering questions. And also, I'll see you Tuesday night for the live feed from the Park Lake at 7 p.m. Also, I've got part four of the autumn Carp Fishing Vlog 4 coming out Monday at midday. And thank you very much once again, guys. appreciate every single one of you for being here. See you Tuesday.